Today, I want to give you some information that will hopefully help you avoid getting scammed when buying the new Scarlet EX and Violet EX Pokemon cards. And I'll also explain exactly what you should be seeing out of your booster boxes and what the pull rates should be. Oh, no, no, not so fast, Lois. A boat's a boat, but the mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, a box of Scarlet and Violet here. And I'm going to show you um, straight away the seal. Always check that the, the wrapping is legit. You will get a little nipple. Morty, can you get to the left nipple? Are you kidding? I'm hoping I can get to both of them, Rick. No. And a slightly larger nipple over here, if you can see that. Uh, it will kind of taper down to the edge there. And then on these new eras, they did do this. Uh, they did do this on um, Time Gazer. I think it was Time Gazer. And then for some reason they went back to normal. But there is now a pull tab on these boxes, which as you can see there, I will be opening these boxes on the channel this week. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, oomph, as soon as you pull that across, the box is open. It can't be resealed. Why is this important? This is important because of a few reasons. Back in the day when we had Eva Heroes, which is now 200 plus a box, which is crazy. Um, there were the old style booster boxes where that wasn't there. It was just a straight front. You would take, you would basically take the wrapper off. You would open the box. You would search the packs. So you, sellers used to be able to weigh them. They will be able to pick out the secret rare because that pack naturally will be heavier because there's more foil. And then what they would do is put all the crap packs back in. They would shut the box. They would seal them in their own cellophane wrapping and then they would sell them to you for 200 quid, knowing full well that you are not going to pull anything significant from the box. <laughs> so it's nice to see that Pokemon have gone out of their way to try and avoid this now there's no resale boxes so that would mean that you are safe to buy the booster boxes right well yes correct booster boxes should be okay now they've got those pull tabs on however scammers don't quit well they don't quit easily anyway right so what we've seen now is they are starting to put listings up on ebay and please 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 if you see listings like this I'll pop some up on the screen. Um, be very, very careful because what's happening here, and I saw a couple of comments on a few YouTubers videos where people were saying, oh, I've got this great deal. I've paid like half the price of the booster box. I've still got 30 packs. What sellers are doing is they are still opening the boxes. They are still weighing the packs. They are taking out anything that's got probably EX cards or the secret rare in. They are then taking all the crap packs that don't have any any hits in probably a hollow here and there and then they are listing them as loose packs on ebay and then you're buying them and then when you open them you think hang on a minute i got nothing in them uh, and this is this is a, a terrible terrible thing these nigerians are always trying to scam me out of my secrets and i find that a lot of these listings are bought by new people coming into the hobby uh, and also parents that are just looking to buy pokemon cards for their kids um, and I hate the fact, I hate the thought of kids having these packs and opening them and just basically getting scammed, right? Because the parents are not going to know. People that are new to the hobby are probably not going to know, right? Whoop. Just dropped my phone on the floor. There we go. Um, yeah, so there's obviously new people going in there buying these packs. And to be honest, there's even people that have been in the hobby for about a year or so that are still um, seeing this and going, wow, that's a great deal. Stonks, let's grab some of them packs, right? And they get them and then obviously it's crap so please under no circumstances buy these listings so now i just want to go into the pull rates just to explain a little bit on what you should be getting in each booster box because japanese pull rates are very consistent you will probably get the odd one there's probably like a five percent chance that you might get two secret rares um i don't think i've ever i've, I've only ever come across two or three booster boxes in the history of me opening booster boxes where we haven't got a secret rare um, obviously it can happen uh, but it's very 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 rare so when you're buying these 30 uh individual loose packs in theory you should still be getting what's in the booster box which we all know not is not going to happen but i will show you anyway now with scarlet and violet these boxes here that you get th this shape you get 30 packs per booster box now the pull rates uh, for japanese in these boxes you will per box be getting a roughly about 15 hits 
So there's 30 packs in the box. Basically half the packs will be hits. Um, all the hollows, ARs, secret rares are all in the same slot in these Japanese sets. So it, you won't be getting any like double bangers like we've seen with special sets. Uh, you should be getting seven, sometimes eight hollows out of a box. You'll also be getting four um, EX cards. Now, sometimes you will be getting three EX cards and what we call the terastalized EX. So you might get three standard EX and the Gyarados EX, for example, or you might just get four standard EX cards, but either way, you should get around four. There's then the art rares, uh, which obviously is the ones everyone's going mad for. You get three of those per box. And I want to clear up some confusion because I've seen some people querying whether they've had a scam box or a fake box because they've not pulled a SAR, which is a secret art rare. So in these boxes, you will only get one secret rare. Again, like I said earlier on in the video, there's a 5% chance that you might get a two hit box. Sometimes you will get a gold and you might get a full art trainer. Um, but nine times out of 10, you will be getting one secret rare or one SIR. So you could get a full art Pokemon, a full art trainer, or a gold card, or you would get one of the SIRs, uh, either it be a trainer or a Pokemon. Um, so you will only get one of those per box. Now, prices, prices. Okay, now this is one, of, this is a bit of a touchy subject. Um, the Scarlet EX booster boxes in the UK and in the US as well are going around about 100 quid or $100. Uh, and then Violet, because of that Miriam card, seems to be going for about 125 to 130. Yes, I think he's absolutely ridiculous because you've got to remember that these are not special sets. They are not holiday sets. These are standard sets. Um, retail price in Japan is like 35 quid usually sellers in japan then sell them on for 40 45 usually in the uk we can get boxes around about 60 quid so the fact that these are coming out up to 130 is absolutely insane don't pay that price i mean i managed to get my boxes uh, for 75 quid each which is still a stretch um but given the fact everywhere else is trying to charge 100 quid plus i got mine for 75 quid off kuma cards again that's not i'm not paid to say that or anything that's just a shout out to them um, for being awesome enough to not be greedy like everybody else. Oh, this is future Mountie. I just want to let you know that the values of the cards are coming down and that's so good. So if you look at this, right? So I'm going to look at my phone while I pop them up on the screen for you. So if you look like mid January, these Miriam cards were like 500 quid, 600 quid, 567. And now the last sold on these were 315 quid on the 31st of Jan, 377 quid on the 30th of Jan, 400 quid on the 29th. So that means the prices of Scarlet and Violet cards, even the most expensive card in the set, has pretty much nearly halved in two weeks. So please, please be patient. You will be able to get these cards and we will open some more in the future. So back to the video. There will be, I think, a reprint um, in February. I know we're in February now. Uh, I saw V-Star Universe and Scarlet and Violet both go up for pre-orders on the Japanese Pokemon website. Um, so usually when that happens and they do a bit of a lottery, usually that means there's another print coming. And you've got to remember that this is the first set of the new era and Pokemon's main objective with this is to get all these cards into the hands of players because if there's no players, there's no events, there's no tournaments, it kind of all collapses, right? So it's a new era. They're going to do more pre reprints of this, not just the one in Feb. So please don't worry. You will be able to get these cheaper at some point. We just don't know when. So just remember, keep an eye out for the seal of the box. Make sure that the tamper seal is all okay don't buy single loose packs off ebay because you're probably going to get scammed and only pull probably hollows uh, and until the next video i will catch you very soon thanks for watching peace